used to. What's up, Tauntaun? How's yeah, it going? Few, Long time no see. Nest people I've seen around. Nest was really common back in like 3.06. I gotcha, um, gotcha. Yeah, I don't know if he's as uh, as you like as utilized. You know, I don't know if people are using them as much, but you know what it is. Yeah, we've been playing quite a bit today. People have been here for a couple hours, so it looks like they're getting right into it. Um, Sorry, I'm updating stuff. No worries. Uh, Blink, of course, no stranger to moving about the stage, but Shakespeare, uh, that, that up B disappearing, reappearing, if you're not sure where it's going to happen, it, it seems a bit like a Dragon Ball Z scenario, right? Where it's like if you can read it perfectly, you can punish it because there is a little bit of ending lag, but uh, Zelda can use it to get across the stage really fast. Right. Um, Right, and I actually was watching him play against uh, JG and TNT, and he was using it in place as like a yeah, kind yeah. of like a, a, a slower shine almost. It was right, weird. exactly. Yeah. yeah, and and it seems like a, you see that he downbeat the fireball. Yeah. That was wild. Yeah, um, Zelda's neutral B also. Um, that's the that's the reflector, but it seems to stall in the air a little bit. I don't know if that's common in any other game, but. Uh, ha has a little option for falling a little slower, which definitely changes the way you can return back on stage. But right, of course, these players both really solid, really great contenders. Yeah, and they've been playing together for for years. Like yeah. like Nerve says, this set reminds them of the old days. You know, this was the old the old 2014 2015 matchup was Doug, you know, Spencer, and Jade yeah. Eyes, and all of them. So. Yeah, they've been playing for years, and here we are, 2022, still playing. Still playing. And here they are. We here, boys. You don't know. Crazy. And, uh, you know, I'm relatively new to the PM scene. Yeah, we have so many new players now. Which is real nice. Um, I'm not like the others. I didn't come from Ultimate. I came from, like, Melee 22 years ago. Yeah, because you were, you were a brand new. You were a Melee Fox player for uh, a while, right? Yeah, yeah, but that was, like, 2001, 2002. Oh, wow. Before, before people knew how to play the game, really. So. Right. And, you know, all the information for what to do, you know, it was like game FAQs, like written text in <laughs> size 8 point font. And it's like, no, you do this. And it's like, okay, well, I these buttons are on my controller, but they don't do the same thing you're saying they do. What right. the hell, you know? Exactly. So it was hard to learn the tech, but uh, I got completely bodied by a sheik one time that apparently did read game FAQs. Oh. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was my melee experience. And then came back, played EVO 2013 just to say I did. Mm -hmm. um, didn't, uh, didn't do all that well. But we're not there. We're not at EVO. We're now, here. now here you're at Kenai Project Plus in we're year 2022. Here. Kenai Project Plus 2022. That's so crazy. Only Time thing, flies, Only man. thing nine years means is that I've been married nine years. So that's all that I care about. <laughs> um, I don't think my wife's watching, but my brother is, and he might tell on me. Let's okay. go. Let's go, Rob's brother. Let's go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as with story time, you know, Doug has pretty much consistently been down like a stock this entire match. Yeah. Um, not getting bodied though. No, I, I see him picking not. up the pace like right there. I mean, and at any moment too, like a one stock lead is not a one stock lead with either of these characters because they can be so explosive, as you saw there. Um, Sixty-seven is is pretty high. I mean, Bowser's like. <laughs> Mr. Kill potential, right? Right. But, uh, and Blink, of course, knows how to capitalize on all those all those different choices. But um, you'll notice, being veteran players, how differently they move around the stage and the way their positioning works. Mm -hmm. um, it's just it's fun to see and really fun to try to emulate. And for people that are like want to get into this or play a different game, uh, definitely worth just picking up a controller and messing around. Seeing how it feels, it, it's so fun. Every every character is so fun to play. Right. Yeah. That's. A, I think that's the biggest appeal of uh, PM, in my opinion, is that not only every character is, is like tournament viable, but every character is also really fun. It's just fun. Yeah. It's just such sure. a fun game to play. And you know, our scene. You know, if you're if you're here, our scene's fun. Right there. So. Yeah. Well, they gotta ask commentators what the rules are when they got it right in front of them. Well, on a piece of paper. Yeah. Well, <laughs> okay, we did leave pieces of paper here, and I mean, you know, it might have just stayed here. From <laughs> no, that's a that's a new one. I printed that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got that out this morning. So the brand new stage list. Yeah. All the rules up to date. We're good. Good, good. All right, but going into game two, uh, we'll see if you know Shakespeare can pick up the pace a little bit, deal with this crouch cancel heavy Bowser. Yeah, uh, uh, crouching is my favorite tool. We uh, don't have a command up for bracket. Let me paste it to you real quick. I forgot to set that up. My bad. 
All right, yeah. So the uh, the down B there gets him gets him to ledge in a pretty safe way. Um, it's so fast on, on the on the down, <laughs> you know. And you you, you got to be careful approaching it too, because I mean, you get in the way of it, you're just going to get hit, and uh, it, it is not good. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Playing against Bowser is definitely one of those things where you're like, okay, I is, is it really fair for him to move like this? Is it really fair for these things to happen? It's so cool though. Like honestly, like PM Bowser's designed so well. Yeah. Like, you know, he's not just like a, a crappy heavy. Yeah, they made him like really well, but he's also still heavy. You know? Yeah, exactly, exactly. M and most Smash games heavies are really bad. So. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's what Mario Kart 64 was the only time heavies were good aside from PM. So. Right. Uh, yeah. I mean, like back in back when they played PM back in the day, like Bowser was like a bottom three character. Yeah. yeah. And then we got you know Blink going out here to Paragon, LA, and yeah. taking names and stuff. And like, yeah, pretty much any character can really do a lot of work. Yeah, it's great for sure. And uh, Oddly enough, Bowser not my greatest rival, even though I'm a Mario main. Uh, that still goes oh, to Diggy. That's true. Um, but uh, that's true. Have you and Blink played in bracket before? Uh, yes. Although he was playing Link, it was a tournament. He it was he was like, I'm gonna play Link the entire time, and then and I you like, made him switch. I made him switch. Yeah, he was nice. like, he was like, I guess I'm worse than I thought. And I was like, yeah, no credit to me. Thanks. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that's a set I want to watch because Mario Bowser, you know, it's, it's a match made in heaven. Yeah, I mean, literally, like that's <laughs> where Nintendo was born, and that's where it would die. Um, it's it's kind of like I like playing against you, like uh, Mario Luigi. Yeah, Mario Luigi's yeah, that, fun. That matchup's too. cool too. At some point, we got to do doubles Mario Luigi. Dude, that, that would mean, be like, yeah, it was, that's it like was predetermined, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I'll even play normal skin Mario if I have to. All right, next tournament, game. if people show up for doubles, then we're on it. All right, Let's sounds good. Yeah. So. That's perfect. All right, so stock's even here. Yeah, this is um, crazy. It's going to be really easy to uh, build up that percent. That fireball, uh, you know, can place it where he wants, get it to chase around him a bit. If you're not if you're not sure of where it's going to be, and Shakespeare's really good at positioning it, like jumping over it, jumping under it to get it on the side that he wants. Uh, pretty good for uh, you know edge guarding, great for approaching, great for being on stage, and then it's a little protection if you jump over it when it comes back to you, it just flips around you, and if you're not ready for it, not only do you have that extra damage, Zelda can also throw out a move at the same time, so you can kind of cover two areas on your body at once. Mm -hmm. So, pretty neat. Yeah, that's really cool. Zelda's a really cool character. Yeah, definitely. And you saw there, I mean, the up B, we were talking about how great it is for positioning and moving oh. around earlier. But also damages, you know, if you hit in the right spot, just like that, you know, pop them off the side, and now you've got control of center stage again. So, yeah, yeah. So what I noticed was uh, Shakespeare was playing a lot more um, patient, like kind of just staying back for a little bit, and yep. he was even, and then he started trying to go in a little more, and now it's, you know, right, right. We, we saw the last game dub as like a stock deficit or whatever, but exactly. And this one, you know, stocks stayed pretty, pretty even. Um, you know, Blinks had a little bit of lead the whole time, percentage wise. Great job on that shield there. So many people just sit there and take Bowser's forward smash. Mm -hmm. And it's so confusing when you just watch it happen. I've eaten like, it plenty of times. He's I know. Exactly leaning back how that for is. like 25 minutes. You know, you're just like the timer's running down. You go make a sandwich, come back. <laughs> then you get hit by forward smash. And you just sat there. Why? Oh, oh okay. Shine. Reflection nice. there. Excellent. Yeah, he's, he's been doing that a few times, actually. He's yeah, it, really it's well. definitely great timing. Oh, All right, so up air, it's and really Shakespeare good. Shakespeare takes the lead. I don't know if it's got a sweet spot like some of the up airs do, where it, it knocks higher if you hit it in the right spot, but definitely seems like the, uh, yeah, so 1-1, uh, one, one, uh, zero, zero. Ooh, zero. Okay, Shakespeare taking a little bit of a lead here. Yeah, the yeah. grab into the fireball. So the fireball came back, and you saw that he was able to get a grab off of that. Because uh, it gave him a little bit of uh, a Bowser was inactionable for a second, which was really cool. So, yeah, I think the, this this interaction like right here, right now, is gonna win like neutral is probably gonna decide the game. Absolutely. And right now, she's really playing really well, just being able to control space. Yep, definitely. But oh my, that back air is perfect. Oh, oh that was enough. Wow. That was and we're going enough. to game three. Game three. Is this our first game three? Uh, this is so our first far? game three. So far, I mean, only fitting, a third set. Uh, yeah, so. but I mean, third set, game three. I mean, we're not going to have a lot of sets. There's not a lot of people here. So. What was the set coverage up here? It was uh, I won 2 0. Uh, the Zero Suit Samus game was close, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah everything, played, everything's I, been I, close. I was surprised you played Rob. Yeah. Everything's been close. Yeah, it is, uh, uh, it's, it's pretty nice to, to see. Small bracket, but uh, we got, we're got having some good games so far. Oh, yeah. So, and, and you we're guys here chose to a good day to tune in. Fun. We're having fun. All kinds of fun.
All kinds of fun on Wario Hill Zone. Let's go. Yes, Green Wario Hill Zone. Hill Zone. Looking a little WarioWare these days, but here yeah. we are. Uh, this stage, I think, definitely benefits Bowser. Uh, oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. More than Zelda, because Zelda, I feel like you want a bigger stage. Just you, so you definitely have, do. That fireball. Yeah, really you got room. Indeed. Yep. But also, I mean, being able to kill and lower percents here definitely doesn't not affect Zelda's ability to, to KO. So, uh, not too bad. But Blink, very comfortable on this stage. And uh, I don't know what you have it changed to, but uh, it's Wario's stage. Oh, uh, it's, it, it, right? it, it, it's, uh, yeah, it's vanilla. It's just a black color. Okay, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. Just re it's a recolor, but recolor, it's the same yeah. stage. Yeah. But yeah, those two stages, uh, he's obviously really comfortable on. Being Bowser and, of course, being able to, I mean, a little forward tilt there to, to take him out. You know, being on the edge of the stage, forward tilt kill, shows that being close. Oh, okay. Okay. What, what, what are you doing, Shakespeare? What are you doing? He's uh, just just showing that it still it still works in this game. If he had just pulled out the Sheik and just started, and like, just wrecking, I would have him. popped off. I would have had flashbacks to 2002 <laughs> when I got bodied by a Sheik and stopped playing Melee forever. Dude, you should see um, Sheik Bowser in this game. It's so bad. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's played against, uh, Blink's played against this guy named Harry from uh, Juno. Uh -huh. And just chain grab him constantly. Oh, Almost yeah. Like, it was so brutal. Yeah, chain grabs seem to be, uh, there's a few characters that can get chain grabs on a few characters in this yeah. game. So. Well, Sheik's chain grab is already insane, and then you got a big, slow character like Bowser, you yep, know, just yep. getting chain grab cityed everywhere. It's big, crazy. big hitbox and everything, too. So, uh, Oh, almost had good DI to not die from that, but I think it was inevitable. Oh, the walls are close on this stage. It's always hard to tell. Um, that forward tilt might have killed from center stage, honestly. 95%. Mm -hmm. Pretty pretty high chance of that if uh, you got a bad angle from it. So. Not quite enough there. Sixty, <laughs> what from sixty-one percent to eighty-three percent on the yeah, up air though. Right. So that was that was pretty good. Oh yeah, see, so he was able to take him back, get hit by the fireball, and so they both got, had had the opportunity to get back to stage. So really great uh, strategy there from Shakespeare. Yeah, it's interesting because uh, these two know how to, how to play against each other so well. It's like yep. You're saying a lot. Like, if you, for some whatever reason, you need to study the Bowser Zelda magic. This is a great set. Look this, at that shine. Yes, exactly. You see what exactly. I'm saying? He knows he's going to throw out just instant shine. Yes, so exactly. Good. Yep. Making great use of the shield, too. I mean, I've seen Shakespeare a few times get down to little shield. Just, you know, moments like that where it's like, yeah, you don't have much left, but you know exactly where you can be and where you can live. Right. So. Oh, couldn't. He must not have had a jump. I uh, thought he did, or maybe he just knew he didn't, and that was the only option. So we might see an upset back, here. So. This might be an upset. You know, you could call it an upset, because obviously Blink is like, you know, takes top spots all the time. But right. I believe the last tournament I was at, uh, Shakespeare, uh, didn't he beat Nacho, like, in the first game? They, or yeah, he took a game. Thing? Yeah, yeah. A game? Okay, oh, yeah. the shine, instant. So. Who had been winning He's just getting hard red right now. Exactly. Oh, oh, off stage. He's off stage. Okay. And Shakespeare actually takes the game crazy. That's great. Blink is like third in the state. So. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. 